Welcome, this is a Casey Tech School video on VC Systems Engineering, the Design, Folio and Project, the SAT. Well, what do we need to know to approach the SAT? Well, what is it worth? What is the SAT? How does it fit into Units 3 and 4? What criteria is it assessed on? What is the design process behind it? How do we choose a project? Where do we find examples? What is VCE Top Designs? And what resources are there? And what sticking points are we going to encounter? Well, the SAD is a combination of your design folio and the product you're building. It's worth 50%, and that's a large amount. Well, it fits into Unit 3, Area Study 1. It also is part of Unit 4, Area Study 1. It's, it's assessed on eight criteria. First is the investigation, designing a design brief. The second part is researching, modelling different options. The third part is planning for your project. The fourth one is your use of tools and equipment to build it. The fifth one is actually realising it finishing it. Criterion 6 is using diagnostic test procedures, 7 is how you use the project management skills, and 8 is your final evaluation of the project. It's based on using the systems engineering process, which is outlined in the study design. We need to identify a problem, research some alternative fixes for the problem, design the the your fix, plan the production, test it once you've built it, and then evaluate it. And this is iterative. We keep going back a step if need be. We need to get into a mindset of solving a problem, not having the final product in mind before we start. It's really problem-based. There are examples of problems in our lives. For example, gardening is a big thing in my life at the moment. So there's many problems I've encountered in the garden and I start to think about potential solutions. You can develop your project around a technology already in mind, but it's much more difficult to do. VC Top Designs is a great place to go to see work from past students, but you can see it from the web page also listed. If we scroll through, we can see some past students' projects and some of the inspiration they used to design their project. For example, the one I've slowed down here looks at building an automatic blind system for his grandmother who has some physical disabilities. Useful textbooks is Nelson Systems Engineering, which has a great chapter on uh, the systems engineering process, and also the lab tech books, which are really good for templates, but also for explaining key knowledge. There's some folio formats you can use, or templates. What Nelson Cengage has an online one, with the web page listed, and lab tech has a physical one in the book. What kind of hardware could be useful? Well, we need integration and controls. Microcontrols are great for this. Arduino Uno is good and its smaller cousin the Arduino Nano. There's heaps of resources on the internet. If you want an internet of things where you use sensors and outputs remotely using wireless networks, well then these Node MCU board and an ESP32 board are boards that you can consider and they're available from local suppliers. They can be used in conjunction with apps that you can build yourself to control components remotely. A micro bit is another microcontroller board which has gained popularity. It's small, it's easy to use, there's lots of resources and can be used with Python or block coding. Pickaxe are easy to use uh, microcontroller chips which can be incorporated into your own circuit designs. 
Raspberry Pi, although it's really a desktop computer, it does have input and output pins like Arduino and lots of resources on the internet. Well, 3D CAD software, there are three types or three popular ones. Tinkercad, very simple. SketchUp, which has a, a online version and Autodesk Fusion. And this is the one, Fusion 360, which I recommend. It's professional level. And the beauty of it is that it's free to students and teachers. So you can download that for free. And there are plenty of tutorials on the internet. And Casey Tech School has a YouTube video on how to use the, this CAD program. Well, what types of circuit drawing CAD software are there? Fritzing is great for designing your own printed circuit boards. Here we can see a design that was made into a real circuit board, which was then incorporated into a real robotic project. We'll also have a YouTube video on how to use this. Another one is the circuits part of Autodesk Tinkercad. It has a great section for building virtual circuits. We can even build them. We can build an Arduino circuit, code it, and test it by using the simulation function. Great for modeling your circuits. The kind of manufacturing equipment 3D printers. Your school should have at least one, but we have some big ones if you need to use ones that require a bigger uh, print bed. Also, laser cutters are great for fast prototyping. We have an industrial style one here at Casey Tech School. You can send us some designs and we can actually cut them for you. Some schools have smaller ones, such as this Emblazer 2, which are also useful. Useful component suppliers, JCAR, they have stores everywhere in every capital city. Electronics has a Springvale store, but you can order online. And Core Electronics is an online vendor, which can send you the parts. Scorpio, great for mechanical parts and Bunnings for general construction components. What needs to be in the folio? Well, if you look at your templates that are freely available, that will guide you. There will be sticking points. The planning. Most students don't like this, but it needs to be done to keep it on schedule. Production is great, but you need to keep your folio up to date. Please keep a project journal and take lots of photos of your production work and don't waste time. 